Whether you're saving up for a dream vacation, paying off a debt, or just aiming for financial stability, these top 10 frugal living tips will help you stack up some and build a better financial future. Today, we're diving into the world of frugal living. Let's get into it. Money makers, welcome to the channel where we make your money make sense. We're gonna start off by embracing meal planning. I know many of you think, well, meal planning could be a bit laborious or possibly just something you don't wanna do. But in order for you to capitalize off the savings, you must start meal planning. Not only does it save you from last minute grocery runs, it also reduces the food waste and helps you stick to your budget. Number two, master the art of bulk buying. If you're a person that lives by yourself, then maybe you would do a little less bulk buying. But if you are a person with a family or two or more, you would definitely want to embrace bulk buying because it will reduce the overall spend over a little period of time. It will also slash your grocery bills. Look for those non-perishable goods such as rice, beans, pasta, and you'll watch your overall expenses go down significantly. Coming in at number three, do it yourself when possible. If you are anything like me, this probably would be a challenge because I am the least likely person to try to do things myself. But when I am in a gotta save, should save, 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 save mode, I definitely exercise this by getting my hands dirty. It is not too hard to do if you have good instructions. So those small projects that you would go out and secure the help or hire someone for, do those things at home. And I can assure you that you will see a huge savings if you are in a fixer up type mode. Number four, ditch brand loyalty. Sure name brands may be quite appealing, but often generic names are just as good. Not to mention those generic brands are at a fraction of the cost. Give it a try at least a few times just to see that you are getting a good quality product for a lot less and watch your wallet thank you later. Conquer your energy bill. The first way you can do this is by unplugging those electronics that you're not using. Changing into an energy efficient light bulb throughout your home would be significant as well. And if you don't already have them, consider installing programmable thermostats. That will be a huge savings. All of these small things could add up to a huge savings on your overall energy bill. If you haven't already, possibly consider becoming a thrift store aficionado. Who says that you have to break the bank in order to look good? There are a lot of hidden gems in the thrift stores and you can capitalize off of that because many people believe that when they get money or they have money, they should go to the mall or online shopping. And that's not the case, guys. Many of the thrift stores have great quality clothing and most of them are gently used or new. I think you're missing out on a huge opportunity. So if you haven't already tapped into that market, do so. Check your local thrift store out. It will save you lots of money. Entertain frugally. Who says you have to break the bank in order to have a great time? Opt for free or low cost entertainment options in your area. If you are in an area and there aren't very many options for you, you could always do things like go to the park, walk in the park, or have a picnic in the park, whereby you're actually preparing all your food and you're taking it to that environment. That's a good low cost expense outing. You can always go to national parks if there are any nearby or find hiking trails to consume some of your time and also do movie night at home instead of the theater. These are all low cost, great options for you. I think you should give it a try. Practice mindful spending. Ask yourself before purchasing anything, do you really need this item? And if so, do you need it today at this price? Can you get it at a lower price? These are a few questions that you should ask yourself before spending money. If you answer yes to any of those questions, then you wanna make sure that it aligns with your financial priorities and your financial goals. And if it does, then maybe you should purchase that item. But practice mindful spending at all times and you'll save a lot of money because you're not impulsive. You wanna utilize cashback and rewards programs. 
There are a lot of programs out there, guys, and you want to make sure that you sign up for all those programs, especially at places that you frequent often. Also, you wanna look at the shopping apps, credit card apps, anything that you will use over a period of time and you use it frequently, definitely an opportunity for you to save or get some cash back. Lastly, don't forget the importance of making sure that you take time to invest in yourself whether it's through education, learning a new skill, improving your health, whatever it is, make sure that you're taking time to build yourself up. These investments can pay dividends in the long run. Trust me guys, you may not see an immediate return, but over a period of time, investing in yourself will pay you high, high, high dividends if you do it consistently, effectively, and efficiently. There you have it, 10 different ways to supercharge your savings and pave the way to financial freedom. Which tip are you excited to try? Let me know in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.